Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Faris Al Hajri, PhD M from Oman, and here, particularly in Virginia, we where we set up, we set up our hawk awareness for setting up our strategic plans. I'm grabbing my hakwa. Today, I have a very interesting topic to talk to to present to you. This topic is about the hakwa diet. You never hear about this information at all. This is uh, we have uh, come up after my graduation from the Institute of Integrative uh, Nutrition in New York, the the largest, the world's largest uh, nutrition school in the world. Um, uh, after I graduated from there, I benefited to be as a certified health coach. So I, I learned from them from during my study that there is no one diet that fits all. One diet can, can be good to you, one food can be good to you, but can be a poison to another person. So that is a quite really, it looks uh, confusing. And when I was reading, there are a lot of research, uh, controversies in research about uh, Carbohydrates are good for you. Some research say no, carbohydrates are not good to you. Some they say fats are good to you. Some research say no, fats are not good to you. So these two controversies, I came up, when I did my study, then I found with my study of Hakwa Revitalize therapy, hot water, Hakwa means the, not, do not do hot water or hot aqua. I found that actually the reason, the primary reason is not from the the specific food that carbohydrates are good or not good, I don't know what. No, it's because the lack of the fuel in the body that expedite the enzyme to break down to metabolize the food. So this is a very, very interesting. So you will see that we, we came up with something called, something called a Hakwa diet. This is a completely new form of diet. You will never find it. You will never find in any other information. So. So the, the, the good news here, the good news here, you come to understand that, first let's, let's talk about food. What the enzymes, what, the food, what does food do you, to, to your body? Foods, we know that we have enzymes, which are proteins in our body, and the function of the enzyme is to break down the food, all right? So enzymes, they break down proteins, Proteins are in fish, meat, and so on, and other vegetable and other food products. They, they contain uh, any food that you eat, either is made, it contains protein or carbohydrates or fat. But what, does it, what do the enzyme do in our body? They break the proteins, they break down the proteins to produce amino acids, and they break the carbohydrates to produce glucose, which is the sugar in the blood. And sugar is also good in a specific amount. We need sugar in our blood. So again, they break the fat to produce the fatty acids. Now, again, again, enzymes take these amino acids, glucose and fatty acid, break them down. So what does it do they do? They break down the amino acids to build up the muscles and provide energy for the body for the so that's why you see those who are bodybuilders they take a lot of amino acid supplements where um, so from the protein that are broken down to amino acid and so it produces uh, uh, to build up the muscles and uh, uh, tissues uh, the cells in addition to produ produce energy for the body but let's focus here you realize that also the glucose is broken down to produce energy again. And the fatty acids are broken down, fatty acids from fat, they're broken down to produce energy for the body. Now what happened here? Something very interesting. These, after this process, you have something called toxic substances. These toxic uh, substances, these are the waste product of the metabolism. The one your food is metabolized. Do you have the leftover, but the waste product of the food metabolism? And these waste products are made up of methane, hydrogen sulfate, and carbon dioxide. These, I could say, the result, they could be impeding the function of our body, causing 
lot of abnormal function like uh, sickness and, and many complications. Because the fact is that we need to change the way we eat, the way we eat. So we need to cut down the food intake. So you don't have to eat that because it's a breakfast time, or it's a lunch time, or it's a dinner time. You eat what you crave. And you cut down the volume of your food by 50% up to 70% and could be reaching up to 90%. So that means you don't need to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You eat when you crave. Yes, you may eat breakfast because you are with a family or socializing or lunch or dinner, but in a lower quantity. And just keep that once or twice a week. You can cheat. You can eat as much as you want. But on a daily basis, try to cut down your food intake. So what we do here, why when we say like we cut down the food intake, the reason, as you could see here, three quarters of this system, what's happening with the metabolism, the enzymes, is to produce energy for the body in addition to the amino acids that to build up the muscles and the, the cells and the tissues. What does hot water do? The aqua, hot aqua, hot water. Therapy, therapeutic method of drinking hot water, aqua gulping, of course, is broken down into water, oxygen, hydrogen, and energy. So simple. But what do they do? They build up, they, they, they provide energy to the cells. When you go to the laws of thermodynamics, about the first law of thermodynamics, that energy cannot be created, cannot be destroyed, but energy shifts from one body to another from hot body to cold body. So since the wa hot water we recommend for adults and even for children is above the human's normal temperature of the body, of the human being, that naturally, exclusively, shift the energy from the hot water to your body by hydration. So in this case, you have the energy, clean energy, because there's not any toxic involved. There's no toxic involved in the water I mean, it's just pure drinking water, safe for drinking. So water, oxygen, hydrogen, energy, all these uh, elements, they are not toxic substances. In this case, when you abide with the aqua revitalized therapy, then you have non-toxic substances. So in this case, you try to cut down the food intake because you want to minimize the toxic substances and you increase your hot water intake, your aqua revitalized. With this, when you maintain, this is a new type of aqua diet. This, I mean, new type of diet, the so-called aqua diet therapy. So we wish everybody enjoy your health, enjoy your life, enjoy your food, but understand that food could be good to you and could be a poison to you. Understand here, food could be good and could be poison. So you need to understand that cut down the food and you have nothing to worry about the food you eat. Eat whatever you crave, is it fast food, is it whatever the food, sugary food, Fatty foods, there is no specific diet that fits all. I wish you a wonderful day, beautiful world, and do this, implement this aqua diet therapy. You will see by yourself the fruits behind this therapy. All the best, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.